Okay guys, so I'm going to be doing a video today using some new products. I didn't know what to call this video. Um, I've been doing a lot of shorter videos lately, so this one will probably be very long because I'm just going to go through everything. So I always start off with my hard candy, lip repair oil, and crystal clarity. So this is just a clear lip oil that I've been trying to use up for a while now. It's funny how when you don't want something to last a long time, it doesn't. And then when you want to hang on to something, it seems like you just go through it. All right, so lips are nice and hydrated now. So the next thing I use is uh, that that hard candy lip repair oil is from Walmart, by the way. The next thing I'm going to use is my Be Pure Hydrating Primer Serum from Dollar Tree. And uh, yeah, this is nice. It's in a glass bottle. Um, I think I was going to put it on my hands, but you know what? Let's... Um, Let's put it on a brush. This is actually mm, I'm debating which which brush to use here. Um, yeah, let's use this. This is an AOA Studio High Definition brush, the F3. So I'm just going to put some of that on there. So we got spoiled because it was so beautiful yesterday. I, these videos are pre-filmed, so the weather patterns that I talk about may not match what's actually happening in reality. I'm trying to get ahead because there's been some kind of crazy things happening lately and I thought that there might be days when I couldn't film so if I got ahead I would always have a video to put up. So it's always good to plan ahead. But anyways what I was going to say is um, it was so beautiful yesterday and today it's really crappy, it's overcast and raining and I ha do have some places I have to go today and I I just I hate going out when the weather is bad it just makes it everything you know casts a black cloud literally over everything okay so that is blended in and then I go in with my NYX Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer in pink and what I do is I actually just take my finger now and work it into the product and then put it under my eyes. My hands are clean, of course, because it melts into the skin better this way. If I use a brush, it has a tendency to like stay on the surface. And then I like to put a little in my eye area because it gets kind of pink and red in that area and this believe it or not makes everything less pink and red I don't know I know that doesn't make any sense but I think it might have to do with my skin tone or something but this t actually takes the redness down for me and it doesn't look like I have that much going on down here today just a tiny little few little dots there all right next I'm gonna take the be pure hydrating under eye concealer in the shade fair because that other product is 
a corrector, and this is what I use lately for a concealer. So just take a little bit of that and then mix it between my two fingers. And put it under my eyes. And what's left, I put it all over the that concealer. Okay, and then for a foundation today, I haven't used this in a while and I don't really remember what what I think about it. Um, this is the Be Pure Clean Beauty Glow Foundation in the shade Nude. Because I used the Essentially Ageless one by Be Pure yesterday, so yeah, I don't really remember what I think about this. So let's just take a little bit of this. Oh, that's not bad at all. Ooh, that's kind of nice, actually. It's got sort of a peachy undertone to it. And sometimes I can get away with a peachy undertone, even though that would technically be warm. Um, I don't know. It's funny because sometimes I think I'm very, very cool tone, and then other times neutral, more neutral things work better for me, but I don't know. Undertones can be a very weird thing. Because it also depends on how much sun I'm getting, and we've had some nice... We've had a few nice days lately where I've been able to go walking, so I've gotten a little more color on my skin. So that plays into it, too. That's not bad. That is not bad. Yeah, so that's the Be Pure Clean Beauty Glow Foundation. Okay, and I'm just going to use a little bit of... Um, Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blurring Pressed Powder in the shade Light Medium. I like these new um, Sassy and Chic powder brushes that are out. They're very fluffy though. So I'm used to a more dense brush, but it's okay because actually this seems to pick up less product, which is what I want. I don't want a lot of powder, because some days I don't use powder at all. That's it. That's all I need. All right. Next, I'm going to do my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in Tan Lines. And I use this Real Techniques brush that I've had for a very long time. Um, this is actually the contour brush. So let's start there for something different. So I just do the perimeter of my face. That's it. That's why I like this product. It's just very quick and easy and melts right into your skin. Oh no. <laughs> I hope it's not going to be one of those days where I just start dropping everything. Okay. Um, next. I, I usually, at this point, I usually do my 
eyebrows and those are actually very quick and easy too with the products that I use. This is the e.l.f. Shape and Stay Brow Pencil and all it is is some clear wax. So I just run that over my brow like that. That's it. Just do that. Then I take a brow brush like this. This one is by Moda where it's got the brush on one side and the spoolie on the other. And you see this in my uh, description box all the time. It's MAC Omega eyeshadow. And I just feel like this is the most natural thing in the world for me to use in my brows. Wait till you see how fast I can do this. If you can find an eyeshadow that matches your brow color, it's going to be so much easier than any brow product that you could buy. And then I just brush it in like that. And it's just really, really fast and easy. This one here just requires a little bit more because right at the beginning, there's like some hair missing. And that is it. That's it's that simple. Maybe just maybe just a tiny tiny bit more at the beginning part here. On this side. There we go. All right, so brows are done. All right, now we are going to move on to something that I found yesterday. So this next product that I'm going to show you, um, this store that I bought it at is actually only in nine states in the United States. Um, so it's not something that everybody's going to be able to find. And plus, it's the type of store that is kind of hit and miss anyway as far as what they carry. But I'm going to show you and use it anyway because I just thought it was gorgeous and I really want to try it. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we do that, <laughs> I st I'm not finished with the face yet. I just realized um, I need to do my blush and a highlighter. I was going to jump into the eyes, but no. This next thing that is new too. I got all the LA Colors um, powder blushes from Dollar Tree. So this is the first one that I'm going to show you. This is Toast. It's not a pretty color. All right, so I'm going to grab my Essence Blush brush. And the reason why I got these is I wanted to pair them up with my cream blushes and do it the way that I've been doing it. Isn't that, look at that color, isn't that nice? So just brushing across the apples of my cheeks. Oh, I really like this color. It's kind of a, a peachy beige, I would say. It's got um, glitter in it, but it isn't anything that's going to be like resting on the surface of your skin. It's just going to more or less give you some luminosity and blend in. But yeah, I got these so that I could maybe come up with some more combos with my liquid blushes. And it worked because um, I bought six blushes and three of them I found cream matchups with. Oh, that's really a pretty color. I may have put a little too much on, but yeah, I like that. All right, so the cream blush that I had that matches up with that is the LA Colors Cream Gel Blush in the shade Mesmerizing. And this is one of the ones uh, that they came out with this past year. But look what happens with the, the product. So I'm just going to wipe that onto my hands so that I can put the cover back on. But the because the product is still coming out, you've got to be so careful with these. 
So I'm just going to dip some of that onto the um, sponge and then just stipple it on. And then I'm going to flip the sponge onto like a, the other part that has no blush on it and just continue to stipple. Yeah, I love these blushes, but this package design is a pain in the neck. But the blushes themselves are so gorgeous that, but I hate wasting the product like that. Because once these blushes are gone, I'm probably never going to be able to get them again because they're something that comes and goes from Dollar Tree that you have to grab while it's there. But how pretty is that, that color? Yeah, it's like a peachy beige, I would say. All right. And it just so happens that I have a bottle of micellar water on the table next to me. I was trying to decide what to do for a highlight, but you know, this Ioni Fat Chubby stick, it says Lumos Highlight. This is such a pretty, like champagne gold. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this Sassy and Chic brush that I found at Dollar Tree. Isn't that pretty? And, I'm just going to run it, run this pencil across, br run the brush across the pencil like that. And I'm going to brush this right across the top of my cheekbones. And that should adhere great because we're putting this powder over the, the cream. So same concept as what I did with the blush. Okay, so that was the Ioni Fat Chubby Stick in Lumos Highlight. All right, now we can move on to the other product that I was going to start talking about. So Ocean State Job Lot is only in nine states in the United States, but there is still a way that you can get what I'm about to show you from the Profusion website. You guys know how much I love Profusion. So I was at an Ocean State job lot yesterday, and I found this makeup kit called Orchids. This is the box that it came in. And they even give you like an, a look on the back that, that, you know, they give you like a step-by-step -step look. And I think I might try that. Maybe. We'll see. But this is the palette. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. I saw it and I was like, that is stunning. And you also, with the palette, you get a liquid eyeliner and you get a liquid eyeshadow primer. So you guys know that I don't normally use a traditional eyeshadow primer, but we're going to do it today just to try this out. I have actually, uh, there eyeshadow primer that comes in their regular line uh, that you can get from Walmart and this is different this is a liquid the other one is more of like a gel type substance but let's try some of this out so anyway guess how much this makeup kit cost three dollars and it's on sale right now on the Profusion website it was originally eight and they have it on their website for five. But I got it at Ocean State for three. They had some other profusion things there too that have been tempting me lately, but I don't really like to buy makeup from there because, well, number one, it's old because that's why they have it in the first place. But 
Secondly, I know it wouldn't be that easy for you guys to get it if I found something that I really loved, so I tend to not buy makeup there. We go there to get uh, other things, some food items that we found recently that we like. Okay, so eyeshadow primer is on. So I'm going to do the look that they have here. It says sweep graceful into crease and blend outwards. So which one is graceful? Let's look at the little uh, description here. So this is the one they're calling graceful. It's like a peachy beige. So I'm going to use this crease brush by Moda, but I just thought this color story was so pretty. It's like peach and plum and gold and just really, really pretty. Oh, I love this color. I was trying to think of what I had in my collection that was similar to this and I don't know that I have one that looks like this with this color combo. Oh this is going on beautiful. So yeah the name of the makeup kit is Orchids. So if you go to the Profusion website and then just type in Orchids a page will come up with these makeup kits and there are two of them. There is this one and then there's another one called New Nudes. Oh, I really like this color. So I'm just doing my usual thing where I build it up very slowly. Yeah, that is a great color. I'm just going to do one eye at a time so the video isn't insanely long. Okay, then it says pack rush onto lid. I never usually follow other people's instructions. I usually just do my own thing, but let's try it. Okay, so rush is the shimmery color right there and it's like a it's like a peachy beige color. I'm going to take um this AOA Studio E131 shader brush. I'm going to pick up some of this. And we're going to put this on the lid. Oh, that's gorgeous. The light is really picking up the shimmer in this. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so glad I picked this up. So yeah, if you live in one of the nine states that has an Ocean State job lot, you may want to look for this kit because this is stunning. It's like a, like a peachy gold, I guess you would say. Oh, I love that. Okay. What do they say next? Apply all heart on the outer lid and blend into crease. All right, which one is all heart? That would be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this one here, which is kind of a mauve shade, I would say. So let's grab another brush that's one that's clean. And what did they say? They said um, put it on the outer lid and blend into the crease. All right. Wow, those colors. Now, I wouldn't normally think to put like a mauve shade with a peachy gold, but it works. That is a good color combination. 
And I think that's why this palette really caught my eye, because I thought it was kind of an unusual color combo, but I like it a lot. Oh, jeez. Oh, these shadows are performing wonderful. And I don't know if it's the actual shadows themselves or if it's that eyeshadow primer. Maybe a combination of the two. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Now what? Smudge Bewitched into Lash Line and blend onto outer corner of lid. Right, that's number five. Um, okay, that is this one right here. So that's like a, a plum or, yeah, I would say a plum. Now for that, for a brush, I'm going to use this flat shader brush. This is an ES5 because it's very, very narrow. So this is going to be tricky. So they want me to do the lash line. So you're using it almost like an eyeliner. So if we're going to do that, I was originally going to use that liquid liner there, but if they want me to do this, then I can't put a liquid liner over this. That wouldn't, probably wouldn't apply that well. All right, let me take this right into the outer part here. Maybe we'll just do like a, a liquid wing um, just in the outside by itself without putting it across the lid. Okay, and then highlight the brow bone and inner corner with Beloved. All right. And Beloved is the first one in the palette. So we're going to need a clean brush for the shore for that. Ooh, I like that. Okay. All right. So let's put that aside and let's try this um, liquid eyeliner. It's just a black. And let's just do a little, a little wing there. It's dried up, you guys. <laughs> I don't think this is usable. Yeah, this is this is this is dried up. That's that's a fail. Just I mean, it's just an eyeliner. I have other ones I can use. So let me let me grab another eyeliner from my collection. Okay, so I grabbed an LA Colors eye marker. How ironic because this um, matches some of the other things that I've used. This, these are very good from Dollar Tree.
Yeah, putting putting liquid liner over shadow is uh, not as easy. All right. Um, oh, I'm debating whether or not I should put, because I put that other shadow along the edge there, so I don't think it'd be a good idea to try putting this over that because it's going to be got all like cakey and everything. So let's just leave it with the little wing on the side like that. Okay. So then what I would do, I will eventually move on to the other eye, but I'm going to do it off camera. So I'm going to curl my lashes. This is a wet and wild lash curler. If you just want an inexpensive eyelash curler, this one is actually very good. You just need to get used to the shape of it because it does have kind of an odd shape. And if you haven't tried the new Wet n Wild So Defined Mascara, this is such a good mascara, you guys. Next time you need to buy a new mascara, I highly recommend this one. Kind of a strange brush on here. But this formula is really something else. All right, so now I have the mascara on so the eyeliner doesn't look so weird being all by itself. Because this is a nice, rich mascara that really coats your lashes. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to do the other eye off camera, and I'll be back in two seconds. All right, the other eye is done. Not without great difficulty, but I did it. Um, okay, so yeah, this Profusion Orchids palette is kind of an unusual combination of colors, but I love, love it. And if you have an Ocean State job lot near you, then it might be worth checking out. And if you don't, it might be worth getting it from the Profusion website, especially since it's on sale for five bucks. I actually threw the liquid liner in the trash. It was dried up. That was not usable. But I do really like the um, eyeshadow primer and the palette itself. Okay, so on my lips, going with the whole mauve plum type color scheme, well plum I would say. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner in Plum and Get It. So I'm just lining, I'm not filling in. And I'm going to use the LA Colors Cream Lipstick in the shade Angelic. And that's what it looks like. It's, it's like a plum, I would say. And this is from Family Dollar. Did you guys hear? They're going to close a thousand Family Dollar stores. Um, but you can also get these lipsticks at Dollar General. So yeah, Family Dollar and Dollar General are the place that carries this line of lipsticks. So I thought this would coordinate beautiful with this palette, and it does. So that is it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little something different today. That is the finished look. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.